In this video, we're going to have a look at some connection problems with Azure SQL Database. Hello, and thank you for joining me in this video. I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. So I have got an SQL database that I want to connect to, and here we can see the server name. So I'm going to copy the server name and try to connect. So I'll go to Connect Database Engine, it is currently set up to look at my local host, a database on my computer, but I'm going to paste in the server name and I'm going to change the authentication to SQL Server Authentication and enter a login and username. Now, of course, one possible problem is you've got the wrong authentication or you've got the wrong passwords, in which case you might need to update those. So let's click on Connect. And here we can see the first problem. The connection was denied because deny public network access is set to true. And it says I can use a private endpoint from inside of my virtual network to correct this. Well, there are various ways of setting up security. And indeed, private endpoints are more secure than the method I'm going to be showing. I'm going to assume for the purposes of this video that this SQL database is one where I don't have to set up huge amounts of security and that sort of thing. So I'm going to click on Set Server Firewall, and you can see it takes me to the SQL Server, so there is a database in the server. So you'll notice previously we were looking at SQL Database, but if I click on Server Firewall, I get sent to the SQL Server that the database is on. And you can see Public Network Access within Security Networking is set to Disable. So I'll click on Selected networks. Okay, so let's try and connect again and I get exactly the same error message and the reason is because I have not clicked on save. So let's do that. So updating public network access and let's now connect. But now we get another problem, a firewall rule. Your client IP address does not have access to the server. Sign into Azure and create a new firewall rule to enable access. Well, let's do it from this Microsoft Azure portal. I'm going to click on Add Your Client IP Address. And again, I'm going to click on Save. So now it has updated the server rules. I will cancel, I will connect again. And this time I can connect. So there I can see my server and inside I can see my database. So let's disconnect and let's remove this client rule. So I'll click on the trash icon and click save and try to connect again. Paste in the password and click on connect again. What happens if I click on sign in this time? So I get this sign into your account dialog box. So I'll click on my account. You can see I'm signed in and it's creating a firewall rule and I'll click OK, and once again, I am back into my database. So these are two common ways that security might stop you from being able to access your database. First of all, you might have all public network access disabled, in which case you would need private access. And secondly, your particular IP address might not be added. Now, of course, this is not a sophisticated way of accessing your database, partly because your client IP address might change. For instance, if you have got a dynamic IP address and you reboot, you might find you get a new IP address. However, this is useful for if you're just doing a test and you need to be able to access your Azure SQL database. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about Azure SQL databases and more, then I hope you'll have a look at our course, DP300, Administering Relational Databases. So in around 14 hours, you'll find out how to migrate to Azure to optimize query performance, to secure environment and operational resources, find out how to incorporate high availability and disaster recovery, and also have a look at SQL Server on virtual machines and managed instances. There'll be a link to this course in the description to this video. And of course, on our website, you'll find many more courses relating to SQL and beyond. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not click the like button? And why not subscribe and click that bell? 
That way you'll be notified of any new videos. If you want to find out how to set up an Azure SQL database, then there's a video that you can click on the end screen that shows you how to do exactly that. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.